Hey there, this is Matthias from Interactive Asia. This is the first tutorial of our new Ventus 6.7 Quick Start tutorial series. Um, in this very first movie, I will explain you a little bit about Ventus. Uh, mostly just a quick overview. We don't do any development in this first series. I just want to show you where you can download it. Uh, to, to do the installation uh, and I will explain you a little bit the difference between the Ventus Designer, the Ventus Director, the Ventus Runtime, the Ventus Configuration Editor and some other small tools which are coming with Ventus. Okay, so let's jump right in and let me minimize that. So first things first, uh, if you go to ventus.com to their website, then you have here the downloads page, just click on that. And then you will have uh, on the top the very latest release. That's right now the 6.7.6. Um, if you don't have a license yet, uh, you also can use Ventus for free, uh, especially for learning purpose. That means, uh, let's go quickly to uh, here to the pricing exactly. So they actually, uh, that's just pretty new now, uh, their new license system. So they also have the Ventus Community Studio Edition. Yeah, So you can see this is actually for free, but you are limited to up to 500 nodes on screen at once, uh, up to 4K resolution, and you have a very small little watermark inside. Um, so with this Studio Edition, you really are able to make uh, yeah, commercial, productions actually I have to check that actually but I think I'm right what I say anyway um, exactly but for learning purposes they also have the PLE here yeah the PLE that means a uh, personal learning edition um, for with, with this PLE studio edition uh, you can download it here it's free it's full functional not limited that you have to be online or that you have to be uh, uh, just 500 nodes in development so with the PLE you have uh, the full features but uh, your output is watermarked yeah you will have a Ventus uh, watermark in the output so this is the installation so once you downloaded it you install it and uh, exactly so if you want to get this community studio key uh, you yeah it was actually I just did it some days ago yeah, you, you actually have to order it, but it's for free. But the process is going a little bit from here over here. And uh, then you will get an email with, uh, with a license key for that free community edition. Um, just try it out. It should be, uh, should be not too difficult. Okay, so let's go to the next step. So the next step, Ventus is coming with a couple of different applications. So the main part of Ventus is the Ventus Designer. That's basically the SDK of Ventus. Uh, that Ventus Designer is also part of this tutorial, I want to say 95%, yeah, because this is really the hard part, the hard SDK, uh, where we will work in the next couple of days together and learn about Ventus. So let me open that one quickly. So like I said already, the Ventus Designer is the SDK to develop Ventus application. Um, it's the common tool which we will use in this training and exactly here what we talked before already about the PLE and the community edition. Then there's the Ventus runtime. So the runtime is actually a tool which you mostly don't see yeah, because uh, that runtime don't has a, a user interface. Uh, the runtime you will basically use to play uh, your finished uh, Ventus applications. Yeah? And we call it then when we export a finished Ventus application, then we call it a Ventus presentation. And exactly that Ventus presentation, we can run then in that Ventus runtime. This will be then what you will give to your client or what you will use for your setup or for your show or for your event to run that whole interactive application, whatever you build. The Ventus director is a control interface to control and to change yeah, Ventus presentations during the runtime. Uh, the Ventus director you mostly will find in broadcast setups, in studios, in live studios, uh, or also on events when you build, for example, uh, some nice lower certs or channel brandings. And uh, then you don't know exactly in advance of the show who is next, who is the next guest, who is coming in. but. You want to be able to change quickly the text in the lower third, the name um, of, of that specific person, of that specific graphic. Uh, this you will do then with the 
Ventus Director. So for the Ventus Director, you actually don't need to know any, um, you don't need to know anything about Ventus development. Yeah, so that Ventus Director has a very simple user interface, and you as a Ventus developer develop all the buttons for the Ventus Director to make it easy for the guy who is operating the Ventus Director, basically. Um, this are the three important tools and of course the Ventus configuration editor is also a very powerful tool uh, that tool you are using to, to make the whole hardware setups configurations right if you have very huge setups with a lot of different SDI camera inputs or NDI inputs and outputs uh, and different audio sources all that things you will set up in the Ventus configuration editor basically uh, the configuration editor also has a very very powerful shaping and mapping uh, tool but uh, we will go more in details in in the next couple of uh, days in uh, during this tutorial and last but not least there's the Ventus license manager that's a very small tool yeah, where you just uh, update and activate and uh, configure basically your Ventus licenses okay guys I think that's it for that very first part and uh, we see us hopefully very soon in the next lesson. See you then. Cheers. Until then. Bye-bye.